Welcome back to GMA. Thank you for being with us on this Wednesday morning. That was one of the top 20 American Idol contestants performing on the show Sunday night. So good. And as the old saying goes, the show must go on. And so Idol made television history and had the top 20 sing from their homes. And this morning, we are so excited to have American Idol judges Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie joining us live from their homes. Guys, we're so excited to see you. <laughs> and Katy, I want to uh, first say I know you're pregnant. You're in, in the middle of a quarantine. I see you like to keep your dog and your husband all around you uh, on your hoodie there. How are things going? Yes, uh, my onesie is just his face repeated. So he's asleep in bed right now with a pillow over his head because I'm sure I'm being loud. Um, <laughs> I'm going to wake up my dog because if I have to get up, she has to get up too. Things are going very well, all things considered. Um, just grateful for, you know, so much and taking it one day at a time, you know? Yeah. Katie, you said on Sunday's show that, that you had all sorts of cravings that you couldn't satisfy. We did see you post something uh, with a pickle, but what, what do you need that you can't get your hands on? Well, I think it's one of those things that where, like, you know, usually in the past you've heard stories of pregnant women craving something and the husband or fiancé goes and you know, rushes to the grocery store at two in the morning. There's no like rushing to the grocery store. <laughs> um, it's like, do you really want that watermelon? Do you really need that orange? Do you really need, you know, that pickle? Or do you want to like risk your life for a pickle? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we definitely understand that. And it, Luke, it looks like you're going a little stir crazy because you played a prank on your wife when she went out on a bike ride. We're going to take a look at that right now. Let's check it out. About to get train horned and she doesn't know. <laughs> oh. oh man! I, okay, has she retaliated? An, uh, retaliated for that? That's an evil laugh. Did you hear how evil my laugh was? <laughs> Now, you know what? No, no retaliation yet, but but it'll 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 rear its ugly head at some point. But uh, that's the worst part. Waiting, uh, waiting, yeah, waiting. Yeah, revenge right? is a is a dish served cold, right? Mm -hmm. Best, Best served, served cold. You know, so, so when we dated in college, um, they broke into my my my. Uh, I was living in my fraternity house, and they broke into my room in my fraternity house. Uh, my current wife, my girlfriend at the time, her and her friends, and they they froze all my underwear in the freezer. They, they <laughs> I mean, so I've been I've been getting this done to me for years. So uh, <laughs> you know, I can I can I can get through it. Yeah, turnarounds, fair play, Lionel. I know you've got the judging thing down, but now you have to be your own camera operator, your own lighting oh, director, your sound Come tech. On. How's that going for you right now? Well, you know, I I have about. 25 to 30 years of, no, let me say 25 years of, before I made it, I was the, the, the uh, driver for the van, I was the sound man, I was the lighting guy, and it's very easy to put up two red lights, that's called the lights, you know, for the <laughs> stage, there's, there's the sound thing, you can, I'm, I'm the guy, I'm, I'm kind of practiced in on it now. Of course, they gave me, of course, the, the iPhone, and I'm thinking to myself, what? do we do with this? <laughs> and they said, well, this is the camera. I said, oh, guys, okay, one more slip. I know you're usually speaking into it like this. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? They, they give it to me, and I'm walking around going, they say, Lionel, hold it up in front of you. Really? Really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you, well, you got it down today, Lionel, because you look good, man. You look good sitting there at your house. And this um, Sunday show was unprecedented because the show was hosted from a judge from your living room. So, Luke, do you ever think you'd be hosting a national or judging a national competition <laughs> from your living room? It's well, the thing about me, guys, is I, I live about 25 minutes south of Nashville and it's in the country. So this <laughs> Wi-Fi of mine, like the fact my Wi-Fi can go in and out a little bit. So uh, and, and so once we got all the little uh, Wi-Fi bugs out. I mean, I never would have imagined I'd be doing this from my home, my farm, and and um, but I'm I'm so honored that we 
that the show, all the people with American Idol were able to come up with something so we could put on a show um, as productive and as beautiful as the show was Sunday night. I thought it was done spectacularly. Yeah, it was it, it was. was incredible. Mm -hmm. And and Katie, uh, of note, I mean, we mentioned your wonderful Orlando Bloom onesie that you're wearing right now, but you wore something um, perhaps even more <laughs> shocking. Uh, you were a bottle of hand sanitizer. I'm sure it sounded like a good idea. It certainly made a lot of headlines. How comfortable was that for two straight hours? In particular, is that Two straight hours. I mean, we filmed for longer than that. But you know what? Um, safety isn't always comfortable. <laughs> we wanted to maintain the highest level of safety while filming remotely from our homes at American Idol, and so I wanted to do my part. You know, I, I'm always a team, a team player. <laughs> well, you know, but you guys you, you, to watch this show, it really was amazing to see because there's no stage, no lights, no live yeah. audience. So, Lionel, what do you tell the contestants? How do you tell them? What do you tell them to make sure that they bring the right energy to their performances for you guys to judge from your living rooms? You know what? I always call this, they're, the, they're so spoiled. But listen, we started out, there was no glitz and glamour. We started out at a club, and it was basic 101 called Can You Entertain Somebody? Mm. And you had to bring your own MC, that was you. You had to bring the vocalist, that was you. You had to bring the band, that was you. I mean, everything was, <laughs> you had to put on your show. So I love it when we have situations where the kids have to think through, think through what they're doing. It just shows, it brings out their character, tells us who they really are. Yeah, I love that. You bring it right back to the basics. And on the next show, yeah. this is very exciting. We're going to find out who America voted into the top 10, and then they were going to sing a song that reminds them of home. So we want to ask you each, what song huh. reminds you of home? Katie, I'm going to start with you. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm a little bit like a control freak, and I think all control freaks these days are spiraling. Um, <laughs> and so there's a, there's a surrendering and a let going that you have to do. But um, I'm quarantining with my two nieces that are three and six, and so wow. things aren't as tidy as they've been. So I guess the song would be something like. You destroy everything you touch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're feeling the same way. I feel the same way in my house. All right, Lionel, how about you? Well, you know, I, I wrote the exact home song because I've never been back home since I wrote the song. It would be uh, easy like Sunday morning. Mm. I think oh, that just class. reminds me so of love it. Alabama. Alabama. Oh, so good, so good. All right, Luke, how about you? Um, there was an old, uh, well, there was a Shenandoah song called Sunday in the South that's really, uh, really always, anytime I'm riding around and I put that one on, I go straight home with it, though. It's called Sunday in the South, and I oh, covered it. Luke, covered you're it. full of crap. You're drinking this whole quarantine. It's called One Margarita, Two Margarita. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the plug on my nice single that's out. There you me. go. There you go. <laughs> You know, hey, yeah, I, I got to say, you know, every time when you guys are live here in the studio with us or even this way, you guys are so fantastic. The best guys. combo <laughs> yeah. um, that we've had on American Idol. You guys are, are fantastic. The show has been great. Continue the great work. We look forward to seeing you, you guys um, this Thank weekend. You. And make sure you guys tune in <laughs> to see who makes the top 10 on American Idol. It's Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.